All right, so the next trend that we think is really big and is just kind of starting off is real-time collaboration. Basically, teams working together. And if you think of it, most business applications are revolving around enabling multiple people work together. And if you go really far back, the collaboration first was done over mail and the latency was from days to weeks. And then by email, you reduce the latency to hours. And then with instant messaging, you were able to reduce that to just seconds. So clearly, because this trend has been going on and people have been adopting faster and faster ways of uh, collaborating, this uh, reduced latency is something fundamental that makes people more productive, makes teams working together more productive. But there is still something magical when you have the team in the same room, in the same space, they can see each other, they can see this project that they are working on together. And this project there on the wall, that has a couple of uh, interesting properties. So first of all, it's a source of truth for these people. Everybody knows what they are speaking of when the project is visible by all these people in real time. And everybody can also contribute to that. They can start editing that. They can take those post-it notes and move this around or take a felt pen and write something on the wall. So in a way, they are in a real-time connection with that project collaborating together. And that's super productive, more productive than any of the kind of uh, message passing could be. I think the best example how this really disrupted the market was when Google brought the Google Docs on the market. Microsoft Office was really a strong leader of the market at the time. And by just bringing in real time collaboration on a web-based application, uh, Google was able to disrupt the productivity suite market drastically. So it's kind of showcased that there is something to this real-time collaboration. It really can change the way how people see a category of applications. Obviously, Microsoft uh, corrected the situation and implemented the same functionality in Microsoft Office. So the second category where there is a uh, disruption going on right now is design space, where designers, graphical designers and UI designers, they have been previously kind of uh, always shifting from tool to another. And now recently a tool called Figma has been really quickly winning over the markets by making it super easy to start using that application as, as it's a web-based application, but also enabling multiple designers to collaborate together. So you can see multiple people over there editing the same design at the same time. They can see each other's cursors. They can see in real time that design being edited. Where I believe the next disruption will be happening is coding. So this is uh, Microsoft's Visual Studio Live Share on showcasing how multiple people can edit code together. So it's really impactful when you can just uh, send a link to your IDE to your colleague and have them participate, let's say debugging or um, maybe adding some functionality in, in there. But key thing is, what's the use case in your industry? If there are multiple industries that are being disrupted by real-time collaboration being added to an application, what can you do in your industry if you would have uh, this shared work item that everybody can see and edit in real time. I, I bet that uh, there are many industries that will be disrupted with this soon. And in your industry, hopefully it's you who is, is disrupting, not the one who is being disrupted. So what we have been building at Varin for real-time collaboration is the foundational technology. So there is a push channel that has been part of Varin framework for many years, and that enables you to share uh, information easily between multiple people who are participating, this kind of collaborative user experience, but also Varin being full stack experience where we have been able to make a front end and the back end seamlessly work together. That makes it vastly more easy to build those collaborative experiences. But we're also working on something we call the collaboration engine. So this is a way to make uh, those uh, experiences even easier, to make it easy to take any space and share that with the multiple uh, users. We call those channels in Collaboration Engine. And from developer's point of view, they only have to deal with one kind of copy of this document being edited in that space. So that's kind of a 
simplifying the matters quite a bit. And also we have been building a bunch of uh, collaborative components on top of that. So just to give a glimpse what we are working on here, for example, an activity list there on the right. So you could chat in the same application with the other people working on the same application. Or on the left, you can see which people are working on which items with just their faces put in, in there. Also, just by kind of adding notification mechanism in there where you could add comments to any working items, have this kind of a list of notifications in, in the top corner where you could see what has happened for each working item. For example, in this case, invoice being there distributed with everybody who is working on that invoice and having a built-in chat where you could also, in that context, start collaborating with your colleagues. Those are quite powerful ways of, of collaborating. But we are working on quite a few different use cases, so it would be really interesting to hear from you what are the most impactful use cases when we are coming on the market with this collaboration engine.